The rock is strong and you're light. Press your body against the cliff. Grab onto it. And it won't let you fall. Hey, Mummy. Yes. Do I have to learn to climb mountains to be the way you want me to be? No. But we'll keep on trying tomorrow and the next day and the next until your hands are no longer scratched and you're not scared anymore. I won't be scared anymore? No. You'll never be scared again. Your grandfather smile. You're better than I ever dreamed you'd be when you were still inside me. Are you going to carry me down? Yes. Ow! It bit me! It was an adder! It bit me! You have to make a cut. You've got your knife. Make a cut. Come on, Thomas, you don't have much time. Make a deep cut. Suck off the blood and spit. I can't. Cut, Thomas. Cut! Very brave. You'd have let me die. No, my darling. It wasn't an adder. It was just a silly grass snake. Why, 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 why? Forgive me. You're a very intelligent boy, Thomas. But I need to know that you can be very, very strong, too. Why don't you tell his father? Because his father doesn't even know he exists. Oh, well, maybe it's time he did. He would hate me if he knew. Then go somewhere safe together. Drop out of sight for a while. What about the war, Catherine? There's tragedy and death out there. There are 30,000 Jews in the maritime Alps alone. Children torn from their mother's arms. People herded into trains like cattle and bound for the gas chambers. Not to mention the thousands of starving, defenseless young men hiding in the woods and caves. Maria, Thomas needs to be sent somewhere safe, too.